Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lesia and today I'm going to be sharing my part 2 of my January haul. So if you haven't seen my previous haul video, the part 1, you can click right here to go and watch that one. And I have bought really lots of books in second-hand shops in uh, Vilnius and Riga and yeah, I still got interesting stuff to share with you. So let's get into it. First on the list is Girls of Riyadh and this is a very interesting looking book. I mean, when you look at the cover itself it gives off this vibe of something like light like chick flick kind of thing but actually um, Raja Alsanea is the writer I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it this right of course um, she wrote this really interesting work originally in Arabic but then it was translated and has gone viral apparently it follows the story of four different women as they discover themselves in the Saudi world and this is a story that is promising to be very important for gender equality or inequality in this case of how women are treated and I have very high expectations for this book. Next on the list I have bought the fourth book in the Outlander series called Drums of Autumn by Diana Gabaldon and yeah I uh, practically know what it's about but uh, this part of the story it's the fourth book I'm not going to spoil anything but this is uh, the part of the story where we get to learn about a different young woman traveling in time but it still involves Jamie and Claire very very much so I'm very looking forward to reading this one I'm not sure which month I'm going to yet but yeah it's super exciting I have also looted some books from Dan Brown and I have shown one of them in the last video but uh, this time I'm going to be sharing Dan Brown's Inferno and I'm especially eager to read this book because it's very very popular and well known. This is a thriller mystery kind of novel based on Dante's Inferno and this makes it very more interesting because I have read Matthew Pearl's Dante's Club and I can also show you the review of that. It's also based on Dante's Inferno. The crimes are pretty much uh, replicated from Dante's descriptions and I hope this is going to be pretty much the same deal with this book. Maybe I will come around and actually read Dante's Inferno sometimes but I'm still unsure which language is best for me to do that. I'm probably not going to be ready to read it in English ever. Italian is out of the question because I don't speak it so practically Russian is my only choice but I think that can wait. The second book by Dan Brown that I have got is called Deception Point and Deception Point is also a thriller mystery kind of story. It's uh, following an arctic expedition. They head to the pole to dig out this artifact that is found in the ice and apparently one of the main characters suspects that there is some scientific trickery at place and after admitting that it becomes very hard to leave the pole or whatever arctic spot they have been in because even as the nature turns against them also the teammates also began to foul play and this is going to be a very interesting book I really hope it doesn't disappoint maybe it delivers some interesting moments I haven't been a big fan of thrillers but I am willing to give the, this one a go now we're moving on to the three most interesting and unexpected books that I have found during the sale and the next book is The Piano Shop on the Left Bank by T. E. Carhart. The plot is quite interesting. Uh, the main character is the writer of the book. He's an American guy living in Paris and he becomes very interested in this little shop, piano shop, where, nearby his building where he lives in Paris and this is how the story begins. He becomes very involved in the life of the piano shop and then the life of the music in Paris and I hope that this will deliver me some very smooth nice time probably will be a nice book to read when the rain is outside you know pouring slowly I think it's going to be a very beautiful beautiful book next we have Star of the Sea by Joseph O'Connor and this is a very interesting sounding novel the premise is a huge ship going from Ireland to America taking away lots and lots of people as they immigrate to America in the 1847 and uh, the mystery or the main interest of the book is that they have 26 days ahead of them to spend in each other's company and there are very different people from all walks of life and also a killer on board and I think this is going to be one of those epic reads I'm expecting some trouble at sea at least maybe some interesting side characters with love stories I think this book is going to be something else 
And the last book that I have found during my trip is Capitan a la Triste by Arturo Perez Reverte, or Captain a la Triste. That would probably be more correct to say. This sounds very, very interesting. If you haven't heard about Arturo Perez Reverte, he is the author of The Ninth Gate. You know, there's also this movie with um, Johnny Depp in it. It's very creepy, but I really actually loved it. And I'm still looking forward to reading the book. I haven't gotten around to it yet. And these are practically the same editions as uh, the Ninth Gate book, so I really grabbed it without even thinking. And the plot is very, very interesting. So Alatriste is very low on cash and therefore he goes into the thievery uh, business hoping to earn some money and some assignment sends him onto a robbery. Uh, when a carriage goes past, he's supposed to rob the two passengers that are going by. And later when the assignment is updated, Alatriste has to kill the passengers instead of just robbing them. So when the robbery actually takes place, Alatriste discovers that those aren't two simple passengers and apparently he runs into some difficulty with killing them. And I think it's going to be a very exciting, a Three Musketeers kind of story with a mystical twist and I'm looking forward to reading it very very much. So that was all for my January book haul. I hope to slow down on the book purchasing because it really makes a huge difference for my wallet. But still, I plan to buy some new releases in the end of February, maybe just a couple of books though, not to overdo it very much. I would love to hear what books have you bought recently. If you have videos, please let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up on this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!